Yeah, yeah, I did then invent an agent for three or four years uh, called James Howeley, which was very... It saved a lot of money. You know, people would send, an e uh, send me a script, and James Howeley would say, thank you so much for submitting the script. I'll get it to Hugh as soon as possible and get back to you. But I, I got caught out in the end, because I used to, you know, do these emails a bit drunk, and I, you know, to say, Hugh's read the script, and he's, he, he really enjoys it. He'd like to meet, meet up. Uh, best wishes, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> And then they rang one time, and I, you know, I, I thought, I haven't got a voice for James Howley. <laughs> and for some reason, I panicked, and I, and I went with genteel Edinburgh old lady. <laughs> it, was a, it was pretty much Janet from Dr. Finley's case. <laughs> oh, well, hello now. <laughs> Emma Thompson adapted Sense and Sensibility. She got Ang Lee to direct it, and they offered me that part, and I saw the part of Edward Ferrers, and I said, well, I, I, he's a bit of a hesitant, in-love Englishman. I don't think I should do that again. And they said, no, no, we know you can do it very differently. So I said, all right, then. And then I did it exactly the same. <laughs> the one absolute golden rule is to um, stop the parents coming. Get in the picture. Come and I've managed to stop them through my own parents, through sort of 23 films, but they finally made it on this one. But this is the first time? I've never allowed them on one of my film sets before. Why is that? For obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Who would? <laughs> my father refused to even know who Julia Roberts was, which was humiliating. And my mother um, tried to brush my hair. I did not. <laughs> I might have liked her, but I didn't. And she definitely said, darling, come on. Um, hair on forehead, horrid, which is the same expression she's used since I was six. And um, will you be encouraging them now on the set uh, again? Not after today's experience, no. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Did you cry in the movie? I cry in every movie now. Do you really? I've, uh, since I hit 45, I pretty much cry all day. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Do you cry in commercials if there's a thing involving like a grandmother in a commercial and a child gives us yes, something? Yes, yes. So anyone holding hands makes me cry. Uh, and in aeroplanes, I'm a wreck. Yeah. But I think everyone is. It's interesting. You look around first class cabin on British Airways and there's all these bankers, floods of tears, watching Finding Nemo. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're reading how well the company's yeah, doing. That's what that is. Uh, there's a sort of an art to acting like that. So um, I, I've got a little uh, a frame. Can we put up the frame? So we put that up. So, uh, <laughs> so if you're looking a bit bored back there, right? You're bored, just looking yes. bored, right? So Graham has set the evening up in a bid to meet Dishy Yu. Okay. Uh. So I, this, I'm thinking now. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Maybe I was too big. Did I do too much? No, no. Oh, okay. You were excellent. Oh, okay. Excellent. I like a lot of praise. Uh, yes. <laughs> very, very. You were the best. Was I? Yes. Better than you. <laughs> yes. Yes. It was worth it because you were in it. Yes. <laughs> Not just saying. No. Okay. No. I. I mean it.